Paul, oh, it's your... Sorry, we're here? Yeah, we're here. So, the two your, of us? Is it two just, shots? Just the two of us for now. Okay. It's your first ever Australia Decides. How did it all end up for you? Are you happy with it? Oh, I'm delighted. I think it couldn't have been better. Yeah. Uh, it literally couldn't have been better. Like, everything just rolled as we hoped. I'd say it was an almost perfect uh, TV production. Of all the shows I've made thousands of hours of television in music like Recovery, Long Way the Top, Spicks and Specs, they're all my shows. That's the best hour or two, two and a half hours of television we've ever made. So I'm delighted. We could not agree more. This is next level. We've seen productions in Australia like X Factor Idol. This is next level. The staging was insane. It felt like not a mini Eurovision, it felt like a Eurovision for us. Look, there were moments where I thought this is exactly Eurovision and the green room was one of those. I mean, it wasn't as beautifully staged as the stage, but just the a con connection with all the artists was just walking into that and knowing that we'd spent months on the phone talking to each other and pulling everybody's ideas together and kind of, to, oh, guess what, Alfie's going to be in the show. Oh, Kate miller is coming into the show. And, and just gradually it built into this lovely group of people and they all really care for each other and they, they love the opportunity and they're all courageous with it. I think if you're a major act like Shepard, to do a contest, it's like, why would you do that? And I think that was really brave and they just had the greatest energy and like, attitude to it. And it felt uniquely Australian as well. There was a sense of camaraderie. It wasn't a competition for the guys. Every time we spoke to them, they're like, no, we're not competing against each other. We just want to sing with each other. Yeah. Where's the future now for Eurovision in Australia? Look, I think it's gone into the calendar of what happens every year. You know, it's, there's, and my hope is, I really want us to be the Sweden of the South, as you know. You know, that, that's my ultimate wish. I think us and the Swedes are quite similar. You know, like we're, we're small populations that punch above our weight. We're incredibly competitive. They're a bit better looking than us, I'll grant you. And I disagree but, with that. <laughs> but, but they love music. They have a passion for music and they really punch above their weight with it. And I think Australians love that sense of we're trying and we're taking it to the world. But, I mean, rather than it being men at works down under, it's Kate Miller Heike in this instance. Not that there's anything wrong with any of their songs, but it's really exciting. I love that feeling in the 80s where it was like, yeah, go, you know, um, go under the Milky Way by the church. And for whatever reason, that became number two in America. Uh, there's the, I got exactly the same feeling tonight when Electric Fields uh, went into the Swedish charts. It's like, wow. To have something to do with that is such an uplifting feeling. It really touches your heart. And where do you see now the future in terms of could this spark discussions about Eurovision Asia on the Gold Coast? Look, there's a lot of discussions, there's a lot of potential investors in Asia, but I think where I made a mistake with Asia was that I talked to people too early about it. And I talked about a national final and people went, yeah, yeah, he's the guy that keeps promising. So we'll just go one step at a time and I'm really happy with where our national final is and then we'll see what the next steps are. I think this is the biggest step Australia could make in terms of Eurovision. Vision. Paul, we're so proud of you and the team. Thanks, Ed. All the best. Come on. Uh, um, I'd like to thank Wee Wee Blogs. You guys are amazing. It's so appreciated. I always look oh. to Yuri Blogs and just what's happening on Wee Wee Blogs. What are Will and the Barn saying? Anyway, that was lovely what they said. They're going to love it. Yeah, They're going to yeah, love yeah. it. All right. Thank you so well, much. The only problem, there was a problem tonight. We'd interviewed Will and Deban. Yes. I call him Deban, right? Hi, Deban. Um, we'd interviewed Will and Deban, and we had to drop them out because we were running long. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, it was a difficult. It was like it was like murdering one of your darlings. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sure, they won't mind. They love the show, so they appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Talk sir. to you later. Good on you. Bye. Bye.